Hello everyone, my name is Kerem Oushusha. I'm a senior lighting artist at Ubisoft, and today I'm gonna present finally my underwater blueprint. And I'm gonna show you all the features that I add in my blueprint. And I wish this tool is gonna help every artist in Unreal Engine to get a nice uh, modern scene underwater. So let's start. As you can see here, I have simple scene. Okay, there is no light, no anything. So what you want to do, just go to the content and blueprint and then just drag and drop this here. Okay, and make your position. Oops. Okay, so put in your position. And as you can see here, we have a really nice underwater scene in just one second okay so let's go forward and i will show you what's the controls here you can use it to get a nice mood and different mood in underwater okay so once you uh, drag this here you will find some controls here let's start with lighting okay uh, i keep the lighting like natural light but you can see here you can change uh, hdr light and also in this for HDRI, uh, also the color tend for HDRI, you can change. Or here, let's go to the sun uh, light. Uh, if you go here, there is light uh, transform, so you can move your light like you want. Okay, or we can change the light, uh, the light color here, so. We can get more blue. You see, it's a bit different. Also, there is a nice tool here. One of the issues that I had it before, especially in underwater, sometimes when you are near from the top, uh, from the water surface, we should have some more light uh, than darker side. Okay, so I will show you what I mean here. If I make this zero. Normally, when you try to get underwater uh, lighting mode, you can get this. But actually, this is more for deep water, not the, the top surface. But here, I add another direction light. It's called sunlight bouncing in this tea. So you can add four or ten like you want. But I will keep it now five. Okay. And from here, you see... I start to change my lighting and I'm really get nice lighting bouncing here. Sometimes you feel it's more greeny, sometimes it's more blue, or even you can make it more yellowish. Okay, so it's really nice tools too to, to get more tint color. Okay, so I will keep it like this. And now, Let's go forward to the uh, uh, sunlights of shadow. For sure, the, the direction light in Unreal Engine, we, you can control of the, your shadow. So you, if you make one or 50, you can change the shadow, but it doesn't visible here too much. But for sure, you have a control for uh, uh, soft shadow. Uh, here, the control for volumetric uh, shadow, you can... Uh, you can turn it on or turn it off. I will show this after when we go in the fog. Okay. And from the light function here, you can change your costs. Uh, so you can change the, the scales. You see, we can change the scales too. From here. Okay, so that's everything here in lighting. So you don't need to do anything, just you can change your light. You see here, sometimes you want to, to bring uh, sunlight color or at night or any other mood you want. And also it's a change here. Every time you change here, it's affected there. Okay. So let's close this and open the fog controls. Okay, the fog control is one of my favorite thing. I spend a lot of time to just create a nice control and uh, to get realism feeling underwater. 
so we start with fog distance. Fog distance is one of the if the most important thing you have to know here in these tools because sometimes when you diving underwater uh, you start to feel the the assets near from the camera it's very visible and uh, the other assets it's far from the camera it's more uh, foggy uh, so it's very simple here you see you can control of your fog distance so now it i am very close from the assets so everything else here it's foggy or you see here like 100% in real life also from the far here you can really see the nice fog come from here okay uh, from the fog overall so this one I'm really like it and I'm sure it's gonna be very helpful okay uh, the second thing here the top surface uh, scattering uh, once you put in a light we should have some scattering at the daytime but at night we don't need it so uh, if we make this four or five okay I will show you how to turn it off but here I'm always prefer to keep two to get a nice uh, scattering or if you don't want any light here you can just change the light and get any different color you want you see it's very easy to change the color it's come from the top surface okay uh fog opacity for sure if you if you are planning to just control for opacity but i don't like to uh to change this so keep this as one okay uh, and yes as i said here you can change the top surface gradient so we can get a really nice uh, gradient it depends about your scene okay so i will keep this as a default and let's go to the volumetric fog before we turn it on the volumetric fog i will show you something very uh, nice here uh, sometimes when you have a scene like this you need to make it more uh, not blurry but more hazy so if we go here and got raise emissive and just change the light uh, the color and change the color you see you can get this nice mood it's it's gonna be very useful if you work in uh, in the scene it's a lake scene or uh, or any uh, dirty water underwater so you can change this here or you can get more so now the scene is more uh, blurry okay uh, but i will key i will leave this now or we can just open this a bit okay uh, so now we don't have any get rays so to turn it this on we will go back to the lighting and press volumetric shadow and from volumetric shadow uh, volum volumetric light i will turn it this to 25 okay so now we have a really nice uh, God rays to make the God rays uh, more smaller so you can just make the costs more smaller so we will get more rays you see here it's nice God rays here and for sure here we can change the God rays option or you can change the color for the God rays and also if you turn this off you will get more god rays and if you need to see more god rays you can change god rays scales oh but i don't prefer to make it more than 0 0.2 we'll keep this and we can keep this 0 0.5 okay so this for god rays 
okay and for sure if your exposure is more darker you will see uh, more uh, god rays okay so let's go back okay so now we'll keep the scene okay so now this everything in in volumetric folks so as as i said you have a lot of controls here you can change your mood uh, so now let's go to post processing because i have something very special here uh, when i studied the underwater uh, physics i find that the most of the underwater scene it looks blurry not sharper so as i saw many scenes in uh, as a 3d i always feel the scene it looks so sharp and this is not uh, correct or not uh, uh, realism so what i did here i i create a really nice control is called water blur so i will show you what's different if i make the water blur zero you see this is what you get normally it's very sharp but actually it not looks like underwater because underwater it should be more uh, blurry so what i did here i create the control so if we start to move the control here you can get more blurry vision and if you get closer you see here it's more blurry here more sharper so but uh for best result i think you have to keep it 1.2 it's not too blurry and also it gives you nice blurring you see it's it's really nice feeling uh nice control okay uh here we start to change the temperature so now i have uh this uh ocean uh, mood but once i start to move my light like this i can get something like a uh, lake water and if i change the tint color here you see the mood 100 percent change and we still have natural feeling it doesn't affect on the colors here okay so if we go back to the the color and i start to move this you see you can change your mood like you want now <laughs> this sometimes you see the scene underwater and also i try to keep the assets it looks green but the the fog is still uh, blue and this is what i saw in the real life okay so we can also change the temperature a bit here to get some nice mood okay so it's very easy to use okay so we can keep this here and also i add chromatic controls so but i don't prefer to make it more than 0 0.5 but if you wish to have more hazy feeling underwater like this so you can control of chromatic but be careful chromatic so i will keep it 0 0.5 uh, also vision it uh, point so you can make uh, make it more darker or more bright but i always uh, i also prefer to keep it 0 0.4 uh, exposure exposure it's very important in any scene so i just keep one exposure control so you can change your control uh, exposure to get uh, your lighting mood so 9.5 for me it's more uh, real okay but i will like it to 9.8 okay uh also here in the post processing material you can get a waves effect so if i make this zero you see there is no wave effect but here we have wave effects okay uh let's go here to the color grading uh what i would prefer here it's contrast so just see if i make this one 0 0.3 you have 
hundred percent a different mood. It's it looks more natural, more uh, deep water, uh, deep ocean. I mean, so you can change like you want. Okay, so I will maybe yeah, one point one for now, and yeah, you you know the gamma and the other thing here. You have a contr full controls here to change your mood you might need to get this okay so just try to play uh, with uh, uh, with the other control uh, like gain offset and the other uh, also I'm I create controls for the global animation so you have a choice to call uh, to choose between uh, lumen or skinny space uh, but for sure because we are using Unreal 5 so I would prefer to use a uh, lumen system uh, also in the reflection here I keep the lumen system not screen space but you see it's a bit different so let's go back here okay so now this is everything for uh, post processing you have a nice controls here and everything you need it's just uh, on your face uh, front of your face sorry <laughs> and uh, now let's go to the water surface here there is not too much control but sometimes you don't need the water surface so you can simply turn it this off you see now it's feel like more underwater so you can keep it or turn it this off also you can change the position okay or the scale so I will keep it 100 uh, so from water visibility here you can just turn it this on or turn it this off okay uh, so this for water surface let's go to particles in the particle I just create simple uh, controls you can turn it this on or turn it this off but absolutely you have a full control you can just select dirt and open the blueprint and you can uh, change the uh, the speed or the velocity or anything you want uh, but because i am not specializing uh, in particles uh, in niagara especially so i just try to create uh, some particle because uh, in underwater uh, is one of the it's the most important thing to have as this uh, particle dirty particle and i will show you what is different if we turn it this off so let's go here and make dirt visible you see now we have a really clear water there is no dirt but once we turn this on we have this okay uh, the fish here i i create some random fish so you can just uh, you might need just dark fish here or yellow or blue this is more smaller you see so there is three kind of uh, fish uh, absolutely you can change the um, uh, the material and create your own fish or you can turn it this off okay uh, so this everything for my blueprint uh, i it's i think it's time to submit it and try uh, please don't hesitate to share this video and share your experience uh, on this uh, blueprint with, uh, with me and please uh, leave the feedback on linkedin or artstation uh, or even in marketplace uh, this blueprint uh, it's 100 percent free you can use it uh, and i wish you like it um, yeah just support me to share this uh, uh, this blueprint and i am so excited to see your result thank you everyone and see you in the next video bye bye